All right, all right. We're back. Let's head to camp and uh, at least get some of our... Oh, wait. There's a corpse over there. All right, the child. <laughs> One of the children. Stuffed teddy bear. Hey, screw him. Wait, what was... Heavily obscure. Oh! Interesting. Alright. So. Let's quick save. Rest for the day. Yes. I want to have some of our illithid abilities back. Hello? My, my, what manner of place is this? A patch of ground to call home. Some rest for the wicked, after all. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw, and that love was that. <laughs> Who are they you? They do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Care to join us by the fire? Pleasure, I'm Azeroth. Am I talking to the mouse or the cat? Pretty words? Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer, about to break the silence. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more... Let's call it... Refinement. Yes, this encampment is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Um, where are you teleporting us to, friend, Raphael? There, middle of somewhere. Nice decor. Can you be more specific than somewhere? The house of hope, where the tired come to rest, and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Of course, it's a trap of some sort. I'm tired of your games. Fair enough. Oh, shit. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Why do you need... Uh... Why would you help me? I don't care what you are. I care what you want. Because my compassion is boundless. I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. Of course he knows. I could fix it all like that. I'll do anything to get rid of the tadpole. I need to think this over. You're mad if you think I'll make it. Yeah, you shouldn't make a deal with a devil. 
at all, ever, no. In this situation, that idiom is literal. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself, shop around, beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. And if I do want to take the deal, how will I find you? I'll have the last laugh in the end. Take me back. I uh, after that, I never want to see you again. I'll rip, <laughs> I'll rip out your mocking tongue. Ah, yes, the tongue. Yet another piece of pleasurable anatomy you'll soon have to do without. All those pretty little symptoms. Sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. The fuck does he want from us? Or me, or both, doesn't really matter who. Raphael flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Yeah, I did. Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith, his head as a trophy. Kithrak? What does that mean? We'll have, uh... We have no dragons at our, uh, at our disposal, I'm afraid. I found Raphael rather impressive, don't you think? Uh, even if you didn't know. Um, he might lead us to a cure, show him some respect, just in case. Yet yeah, we don't have a dragon. I will sit astride one. It is only a matter of time. I will ride a red dragon. I will wield the silver sword, and I will conquer every layer of hell should my queen command it. Not if he kills us first. Not not if he kills us first. The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase. To penetrate the hells, this is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Blackest sight pierces the many planes. Okay, whatever you say. Um, who do we want to switch out for Will? Maybe Asterion? Uh, excuse me. Well, we get the chance, of the course. Devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales. Don't you think? You mean Raphael? Oh, we should at least consider his offer, g given the circumstances. Spare me the parables. I have no intention of bargaining with the likes of him. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Yeah, I get that. 
<laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Yep. Well, this gets better and better. Yep. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we'll find the thing. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. Uh, we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. He's not. We still have options. If you want to sell your soul, be my guest. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. Clearly. Reminds me of Casador. Taunting his slaves with hope when he knew the game was rigged. You're a warlock. You understand how dangerous the wrong deal can be. Oh, certainly. Oh, can we? Because you've got it all figured out, I'm sure. You know who tampered with the parasite and why, and what they have planned for us. And of course, you know why we're interesting enough that a devil, pardon, a cambion, would proposition us. Because if you don't know that, you may as well sign over your soul now. We may escape whatever web we're trapped in, but until we know what's going on, this Raphael has us exactly where he wants us. Didn't mean to offend you. He technically kind of does, but I have a feeling he doesn't know exactly why we're not changing either, so... There's bigger forces than him. Do you feel as flattered as I do? A cambion came courting us. Quite right. Either daddy had a tryst with the succubus or mummy with an incubus. What they lack in kind-heartedness, they make up for with horns and tails. Still, don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation it merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us badly. Clearly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. <sighs> All I'm hearing is conjecture. But what is uh, is it that this devil wants so badly? I'll remind you that dealing with the devil always you always draw the short straw. Let let's go with that. There's no such thing as an absolute certainty. Let me play the devil deals advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. Why do you think he's too eager? Hold on. What's on your mind? All right, never mind. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <laughs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? I don't like it. Yeah, not not doing that. He's a devil. We shouldn't trust him. Simple as that. I suppose it was a lot to take in. A devil sought us out, teased us with his help, but he also stared as if we were the banquet rather than the one on the table. We can't hedge our bets here. Best we decide how to deal with him, if at all. Oh, I agree. Um, actually, uh, if Raphael can truly help me. Uh, maybe we should consider it. I'm still unsure he could help to us or not. All right, perhaps we shouldn't trust Raphael. He's a devil after all. Enough about me. What do you think is best? I'll tell you in due course. I just wanted to see how close we are in thinking, first of all. You got there eventually. Oh, hush. He's clever. My order uses the same tactic when dealing with enemies of Shah. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self doubt are sufficient. Yeah. When actual pain comes, the victims already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food, us. I'm glad I made the right decision then. Who are Shara's enemies who receives this treatment? Uh, I didn't realize you were so well versed in the mental and emotional torment. Uh, I think I detected a note of admiration in your voice. 
I respect his craft. As should you. Watch out for that devil. Oh, of course. Oh, this is the first. That's right. We rescued Volo and he came here. Yes, my friend? I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> uh, what do you know? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Uh, fought one of them. And their parasites, do you know anything about them? As a matter of fact, I do. But why do you? Uh, not only have I encountered a Mind Flare, I've killed one. That... that can't be. Killed the Mind Flare in his lair on aboard a Nautiloid. Well, in the wreckage of one. I've been infected with one of the parasites. I was captured by the Mind Flayers before. I'm lucky to be alive. You're either an excellent storyteller, or you've experienced something quite exceptional. We all have, actually. <laughs> Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Malaise is one word for it. You mean more like psychic transference? I have, and the math might feel. All right, let's ask the transference Curious. part. Elithids, their technical name, form a hive mind. One shouldn't be able to hear their dark whispers. Unless. Unless you've been infected. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone seramorphosis by now. Um. If only your disbelief could alter the facts. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flare? Huh. Ridiculous. Sure. Isn't it? Uh, of course, utterly ridiculous. Examine me, find out for yourself. Doubts aside, you should keep your distance from me. Look for Perhaps yourself. that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. Go on, have a look behind the old peeper. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, my dear sweet gods! <laughs> I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Okay. Sweet! Lovely. My, is my inventory full? Or am I over-encumbered? You know what, let's eat a couple of pieces of food. That should do some of it. Oh god, um... He has a longbow now. We need to give him that. Or make sure he uses that. Is that all? Is that everybody I've spoken to? I think so. Yeah, go to bed. Okay, we're in the work pens. Am I moving slower or is that just my perception? Oh shit.
that was an ordeal. Go through the door, please. There we go. Can't we just swarm the forest? Drow wants to know exactly where those adventurers came from. What are they doing? Hiding in trees? We'll smoke them out, no problem. Okay. Let's turn. So no other halls. Just go this way. Why are you being all choppy today? Stop being choppy, damn it. And she was right there. Sweet. Let's talk to her. We can climb that ladder and maybe get in. Need something else? Uh, yes. Let's see your wares. Oh, wow. Okay, she's got a lot of good high value weapons. I wish we could kill her and get her inventory. But I doubt the goblins would like that. Um, do I have any random things I can sell? Human skull, teddy bear, that. Let's give it the two-handed, that, those two things. Take the clam. Take the short bow. Take the long sword. And take one of the daggers. And leather armor and the robe. Now, as for Louisel, oh God, switch to Lazel, please. No, don't, no. Oh, thank God. Thought it was gonna freeze and die on me. I don't tend to use spears. So, so, uh, See how much it gets us. Only 77? No. Take that. Take that. Okay, so. I need this. 1300 Jesus woman Just keep boosting up the pro All right um No put it back Damn you Pleasure Sorry All right Let's go through inventory You know what I doubt this will get us anything good. I, I kind of doubt it. Okay, got that for him. I could, I literally could have used that to speak with House and that, but I didn't get it. You know what? I'll see how much it gives us. Because I need better armor. 
for Azeroth. Think Shadowheart's the one who's got it in her inventory? That the jingle of coin I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. Oh, we're getting the same spiel. I still don't know what the fuck the strength check is for. What is that? That is a... Flexible... St it's a staff. Huh. How much is that? 400? Not just yet. Alchemist Fire 92. You know what? Nah, Pleasure. bye bye. We're gonna see if we can find some way to get more gold. Okay, let's let's uh let's go up here. Ah. Gilded chest. Those. Can I Can I sell her the chest? Cause if I can sell her the chest. Need something else. Uh what shit. There was something else I was gonna sell. Oh, the ring. <sighs> this could be valuable. Hundred Two sixteen. Does she want anything for that? Probably not. You know, we'll We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out later. Although it, we might do good to look into Priestess Guts' uh, um, old old room, I say, because she might have something <coughs> a bit more valuable in there that we can take. Oh god, that is a pit. Oh god, they're they're gonna push him in there. And he's probably gonna die to the spiders or. Yep. All right, let us film a toldy. She seems important back there. Definitely quick save, if I can. Life, much like your words, is meaningless, whelp. Your scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. She's mad. A drow, Sorry, too. Mistress. We're mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you. Every hour that passes, mm. a trinket, a tongue, a limb. I ain't no use without my limbs. 
The lads will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. A true soul? Praise be. Are you here to join my hunt? Join you, I'm here to kill you? No, I want to see what you're talking about. Uh, I have my own business to take care of. How do you know I'm a true soul? Why do you ask? Surely you feel the absolute moving through me. Just as I feel her in you. Now, you must hunt with me. In her name. Worshippers of a false god. Their existence is an insult to the Absolute's claim on this region. The thief, whimpering in our dungeon, tried to flee to their sanctuary. We will continue to remove parts of him until he tells us exactly where it is. Did he get captured He's been again? resilient, but he'll talk. She's seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Perhaps you can misdirect her or kill her. Tieflings should be worn together, you can outnumber. Speak, true soul. The hunt must begin soon. You can be very persuasive. I'll visit the prisoner. We don't need the prisoner. I already know the place you're looking for. I spoke to the prisoner. He told me everything. They captured him again? Excellent. Be sure not to kill him before he talks. The village to the east. Okay, so she's definitely one of them. One of the leaders. I can't believe they captured him again. Let's go see if we can release him this time. And have him not be captured. Oh wait, no. Or was he being tortured this way? Um. Didn't he call himself a master? Would have thought we will create. Your long pig started squealing yet? Cause if you're drinking, the job must be done. Yeah. As good as, boss. Got a professional working on him right now. Half the scrubs in here would probably lose their nerve just looking at you. Bunch of drunken layabouts. No me, though. I'm hard as they come. And I'm itching for another fight. Good on you, pal. Next raid, I'm gonna spill some guts in her name. Okay. Candles Maybe him. I watching ya. Spike promised that any meat that falls off his mind. Don't call me meat. Your long pig started squealing yet. Cause if you're drinking, job must be done. Bet you couldn't make him <laughs> sing either, could ya? I'd swear he was mute if I hadn't heard him scream so. Okay, so. Hmm. So what exactly do I need to do? I don't know. I don't know how we can. Maybe I can tell her and warn them. I don't know. We'll see. But we'll figure that out next time. So uh, thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already. Thank you so much, and I will be back tomorrow.